I'd like to be under the sea and an octillery's garden in the shade. Hey Planet Poke, it's me, Dio Genzine. If you couldn't figure out by the song, on this week's edition of Pokemon of the Week, we're checking out Octillery, with the Mega Artillery set being first and foremost for this poke of NU. Now, you might ask yourself why. Why NU? Why not a higher tier? This Pokemon has some pretty potent power when you look at its special attack combined with its massive move pool. It really is versatile when you look at it that way. But when you happen to take a gander at its speed and its defenses, you realize it doesn't have that much lasting power on the field, so for it to be formidable, it needs to be knocked down to the lower tiers. So what we're doing is enabling it with the ability Sniper, and also you might want to have a scope lens on there, which we'll actually get into the next set, but uh, the reason being is that critical hits will do a lot more damage, so if you can increase the chances of that happening, you're making your octopus all the more outrageous when it comes scrambling at your foes. For this set, it's a typical special sweeper, so you want to go modest or timid, depending on whether you want more speed or special attack, and when it comes to Octillery, you may want to opt for the additional speed. Now, just like a lot of the sweepers that we've done on this channel that are heavy and slow, this one isn't heavy, but it sure is slow. I mean, it's got to run on suction cup tentacles. Every time it takes a step, it gets stuck to the ground. What you can also do alternatively to massively raising in the effort value stats its speed and special attack is raise its health points, since it doesn't have a lot of defense, give it the most staying power possible, and take a quiet nature, I believe it's quiet, that will diminish speed, all the while helping your special attack. So it's as slow as possible, and when you set Trick Room properly, it will work to your maximum benefit. The problem is making sure you know when is the time to initiate Trick Room. You want to make sure that all the entry hazards are off the field, if possible, and that Octillery isn't going to switch into something like a Leaf Blade or a Thunderbolt, something that will destroy it immediately. Because of this thing's weak defenses, you have to be careful when trying to mess around with Trick Room. But if you just go for the pure power, typical raising of a special sweeper, max out that speed, max out special attack, and let's take a look over on the moveset what this octopus is capable of. And boy, is it capable of a lot. First and foremost, Water Spout. This elusive move is excellent for if you have maximum health. If you have less than 63%, it would be much better to use Surf instead. So use Water Spout at your own caution. I believe the base damage of it is 150 if you've got max health, and that will work amazing if you get the free switch. But it's not like this thing has Water Absorb. It's not like this thing has super defenses that will keep the resistance value good. So maybe you might want to switch out for something more solid like Surf or perhaps Scald if you want the chance for Burn. Ice Beam, in my opinion, absolutely necessary. You want it to take down those dragons, and with this special attack power being so high, it will be assuredly a one-hit KO each time, so long as they're not some sort of wall that they've perhaps baton passed some stat boosts onto, then you should be good. To take out other pesky water types, which ideally would be your time to switch in, when you can predict a water move coming, most likely from a water Pokemon, although that's not always the case, then you'll switch in and use Energy Ball to get the one up and Flamethrower. Flamethrower is good for Steel types. Steel types, of course, that don't have a ground or rock secondary type to them. This will handle them swiftly. In terms of additional moves, Octillery has a ton, and I can't list them all here, but something to be mindful of is making sure that you don't use a move that's going to be defeatist to what you're trying to do with your overall strategy. For example, this thing can learn Substitute, but there's really not that much point in doing it. You've got to hold on to the little HP that you have, and especially with it having weak defenses, it's not going to have that sub up for a long time. So this is not a sub sweeper, it's just a sweeper. But Signal Beam is perfect for this set, because Ludicolo can really largely block out everything that Octillery can do. It resists most of its moves, unless you have this Signal Beam attached, 
and it's super effectively striking in its grass stab ability. So maybe you want to include signal beam if you can predict your opponents using that wacky pineapple duck with a sombrero of a lily pad for a hat. Gunk Shot, a powerful poison move if you're lacking that on your team, and Psychic, an amazing, probably the best special Psychic type move in the game. So there are many options to consider with this Octillery, and a lot of the move set that you want to pick for your team is dependent on that. What does your team have? What does it lack? Then you can make up your mind based on that. Set 2 was provided by Pokemon Traveler Guide. And this one is very similar, almost exactly identical to the first set, but I did just want to point out that he gave me this grand notion of using a scope lens. Sniper, of course, is the ability to have for this poke. The only other options you would possibly get are Moody, which changes a stat every turn. It changes good or bad, so you have no prediction on how your stats will change throughout the match. It might increase something that's completely pointless on this Octillery, like its physical attack, or it may take away from what you need, like special attack, so Moody is completely out of the question. No way do you want that. Or Suction Cups, which allows this Pokemon to stay in no matter what. Can't be switched out. It's kind of like a mean look that gets suckered to your foe's poke. And I suppose that's really good for vengeance kills if you want to, say, trap a water Pokemon when you switch in with Octillery. If you want to get rid of their water wall or water striker, that would actually be a pretty good method of doing it. However, Sniper, with the critical hit being even more potent than it already is, I didn't realize that it would get a great boost from Scope Lens, which increases the likeliness of critical hits. So thank you to Pokemon Travel Guide for pointing that out. Over on the moveset side of things though, it's fairly similar, you know, just a switching of the water spout for surf, but like I said before, surf is more dependable in that it's not HP dependent, so it is based on the power of what it is and it won't change. And it's stab, so that's sweet. Our last set comes in from Creamer Lad, and this is his rad Creamer Lad set, which I actually have a couple of disagreements with, so let's go through them. I'm not asking you guys to send in your sets to simply be the best that could be, because maybe they're not. It's a, it's a conversation more than anything else. Just as you guys comment on the things that I hiccup on on my own sets, I'll comment on what I think is good and bad on these sets, and this one kind of came off as being one of those lesser of the Octillery sets. And the reason being is that this trainer focuses on defense, and I don't know why. I don't know if they fail to look at the base stats of Octillery, but defense is not the stat you want to focus on. With no investment into special attack either, I kinda am sorta confused why you would even bother with Octillery since special attack and physical attack are its main attributes. Why would you not take advantage of that? And he suggested that you have Soak on this moveset, or Protect, but Soak merely changes a Pokemon's type, the opposing Pokemon's type, to a Water type. And without Energy Ball, that's why I added that to the additional move section, there's no point to doing it. Why would you change the opposing side to a water type when you've only got an offensive water type move being Scald? Scald is great, but without special attack investment on the effort value side of things, it's minimal at best in its effects. And Leftovers? Yeah, really misrepresentation of what Octillery is supposed to do here. It's not a wall, it's not meant to sort of delay your enemies in any way, it's it's meant to strike. This is a striker and a sweeper, so this set, not too great in my opinion. I understand that, you know, maybe he wants to weaken the opponent's defenses with acid spray and toxic and things of that nature, but Octillery is not the poke to do it. There's much more preferred NU pokes that will be able to wall and support your team while inflicting damaging status conditions on your foes. So this one I would sort of miss and uh, I'd like to know which you guys think in the comments below. Which of the Octillery sets do you favor? Set 1, set 2, or set 3? 1 and 2 are kinda kinda the same but uh, you know with the scope lens I'm guessing you would have better accuracy in, in getting more critical hits 
but uh, then you will submit the life orb or the choice specs, which is just pure power. So there's always trade-offs for any sort of training you'll do in the metagame. That about does it for this edition of Pokemon of the Week. Like I said, let me know below what you think of Octillery. Remember to subscribe to Planet Poke for this and other amazing Pokemon-created content. Everything you could think of Pokemon-related. Cards, walkthroughs, discussion videos. Great stuff. And if you got the time and you're looking for an LP to enjoy, check out my channel, youtube.com backslash DOGENZ. And uh, right now we've got No More Heroes 2 and Deblob going on on that channel right now. So I'll see you next week.